Hello ladies and gentlemen, Dan Sparrow here and welcome back for another episode of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis and as you probably hear I have actually fixed the microphone. The reason was being the idiot that I actually am, I um, didn't plug in my headset. And I bet you are all going to be laughing at me, but I forgot I took it out last night to charge my phone in a USB port, which my headset connects to. So I was wondering, <laughs> idiot, like I'm a flippin' idiot. But um, hopefully it solves the echoing issues. Now last time we left off, um, we had a lot of deaths around this area here, this general area. And um, the reason being, I still I don't have a clue. So I bumped up security. I think the people just having heart attacks or something. But it cost us from four stars. We went down to two stars actually. So we're actually clawing it back again. Every time, every time we seem to be getting anywhere, it just doesn't happen. It just keeps. There's always something that kicks us right in the nuts, and I really don't know why or what the deal is with that. So I'm hoping that that's going to be the end of it. I'm hoping it'll let us get the five stars and. Uh, Actually, complete this. Has this has he died out of old age? Natural causes, right? So we need to get a ceratosaurus in here. Per ceratosaurus, we get another two in because of a funny feeling. This one will die as well. After him sniffing his backside. Yep. Yeah. Message from Doctor Grant. If it's not about a floss raptor, I don't care. I need to get floss raptor DNA. But apart from the minor, those minor hiccups, we have pretty doing, we're doing pretty well. People are actually now starting to use our safari part. part. So as you can see, there it goes. Chugging away. And as it comes down here, it's, it's a big dinosaur melee. Just constantly keep getting homocephaly and gallimimus uh, fossils and we're just getting money. Loaded in money like so. But I wish we would just sort of like get five stars to see what happens when we unleash out Terry. Is this one actually? No, this one's still here too. This one hasn't been used yet. People aren't really walking down here. Here, people are leaving. So 54, we had 80 odd people and we dropped to 54 thanks to the whole death counter. How long does the one year? We really need the the. I'm half tempted just to buy the low. Buy these here. So I am, but do you know what? I'll purchase. Purchase three of them and just see if it will take it up the. Oh crap! There we go. See how much that takes us up to, because we need at least what's it what's it up? Eighty three, so it'll probably take us up to ninety something maybe. If that's the case we'll just get the other ones and uh use that there because there's no chance we're not finding any floss raptor remains. Do what's this? Oh. He'll probably still die of mal malnutrition because of the flipping that's the way they go. I don't know, don't understand that. Nothing. 87, so it went up what? 5? No, 4. So it'll be 90, 91 next, and then 95. Doo -doo. Oh. Nothing. New. Oh, this is amber. Don't want amber. No point in having amber. Message from Doctor Wu, ninety-two. Do do do, ninety-two. We need to get loads of them in here. We need to get like quite a lot of those raptors. Oh, oh, the poor goat, run, goat, goat, run. That one's 
eaten. That one's dead. That one is dead. 96. So let's see actually how many seconds. So if we. Right, so if we buy another one of these, that should be us. That should be us 100. And then we'll get loads of Flossoraptors in. And our star rating has increased again, yeah. Happy days. I want to get back up to four stars because that was just our luck that everybody started dying. Don't know where to put one of these bad boys. Down ha oh, here. No, I don't have a few inventing here. That's right. So I need to put this here in as well. There. I forgot all about that. Sweet. We've got a hundred percent flossy raptor. So now we can start like pumping these out. Four thousand for for Gallimimus remains. Look at me, that's a lot. That is a lot for Gallimimus remains. So we can start pumping these flossy raptors out. Message from Dr. Grant. I found nothing because there's nothing there to find. Do 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 on the, on the topic of Jurassic Park, any is excited to watch the new Jurassic Park World film? I am a bit skeptical about it. I really want to see it, but I'm also a bit skeptical about it for the sheer fact that it's just gonna be Chris Pratt. He's a good actor. He was good in Guardians of the Galaxy, but I don't know. Jurassic Park. It'll not be the same without Jeff Goldblum or Sam Neill or the woman who played Ali Sat Ali uh, Ellie Sattler. But it has the potential to be good. But I'm not gonna diss it until I see it. And hopefully, it's better than what I hope. I'm sort of expecting a wee bit of a letdown due to the whole fact that there's a hybrid dinosaur in it. Um, I don't know. I'm still, to say, I'm not going to diss it until I go and see it. And um, if it's rubbish, I like to know. I don't think it'll ever. I don't think it'll live up to the first two Jurassic Parks. The third one was all right. I didn't quite. I didn't like it as much as the first two, but even though it had Sam Neill in it, but I think. Like any other movies, if you're going, usually the first two movies are always the best out of a lot of them. Um, usually, if they make any more, it kind of ruins the franchise a wee bit. Well, what that's what I found. Any 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 um, movies that have a third one or a, a fourth one even sort of like ruins the, has ruined the franchise. Um, for example. For example, uh, one of my all-time favorite films, Aliens. You have Alien One and Aliens, which is the second one, by far the the better of the four movies. The third one was atrocious, and the fourth one, well, I don't know why they even bothered with the fourth one because it was just, to put it politely, a piss take. Um, so I'm just hoping Jurassic Park World, or Jurassic World, whatever it's, I think it's Jurassic World, um, doesn't ruin the the the, the older uh, the older movies because when I was when you know, when you grew up and you're sort of like when you grew up and you're you you, you see a movie like the likes of Jurassic Park when it first came out that was amazing like I actually thought it was like I it was a, one of the best movies I'd ever seen and it was just like Oh, it's so good, it's so good. The second one out, and I'll tell you a story about the second one, actually. The second one out, when it came out in the, the cinema, I went to see it with a, a couple of mates and thought it was brilliant. See, over the next week or so, I had actually went to the cinema an extra six times to see it, and I didn't go, I went by myself. After school, 
because the cinema around my way when I where I used to live was really really cheap, and I actually went because I like I liked it so much. I actually went an extra six times within the week, sitting by myself as sad as it sounds, um, sitting there eating popcorn, and every time. Uh, T-Rex and all came into it, I was like, oh, I was in heaven, I loved it, absolutely loved it. Then when the third one came out, I didn't go to see it in the cinema, because I wasn't that fussed on it, and I actually had bought a DVD of it, and when I watched it, like I said, it was good, but it wasn't spectacular like the first two. Um, so, yeah, that's a wee bit of my background of Jurassic Park. Sorry for the rambling on. <laughs> but yeah, if you find out, if there's any movies, like, you just say, if you find that you think it's been ruined by the third and fourth, fourth one. Now, here's another example too, actually, before I call this a video for me, ram before I stop rambling on. Star Wars. The original trilogy of Star Wars, which was episode 5, 6 and 7. Was it 5? No, 4, 5 and 6. 4, 5 and 6, sorry. Um... Amazing, absolutely amazing, amazing trilogy. Brought out one, two, and three. Terrible. I don't like. Honestly, obviously they have to bring out uh, the first three to explain the story of whole Darth Vader and all that caper. But to me, I rest it on Han Bollard. And yet again, there is another Star Wars movie coming out this year too. And my mates are all big Star Wars fans, whereas I am sort of. I like it, but I wouldn't be like die-hard fan of it. Whereas my mates are all really, really like Star Wars, and do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they were disappointed. The fact that Disney's bought it over, but what can you say? Disney's banned everything in these days. But yeah, that's it. That's all I'm doing from a ram rambling on. I'm not talking anymore about movies or anything because obviously that's just what I think. Obviously, people are probably be like have their own opinions and stuff. So, which is fair enough. But I just think after the first two movies you very rarely get a decent uh, a decent one after the, or a decent third or fourth movie yay we're back up to our four stars yay and we're back with a five uh, we're back with a hundred and fifteen thousand in the bank so hopefully this will be us for when we set up for the next episode and the next episode what I'm going to do I'm going to consider I'm going to consider expanding well have this here. There's, let me. There is a ton of floss raptors in there now, which is good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand it out this way. Maybe put an ent another entrance somewhere here and do like a mad flatten this out and do a mad site B sort of planned uh, exhibit with balloons and viewing towers and survive right so hopefully I'll be I'll be in the next episode because we're going to try and get to the five star mark and then we're going to unleash hell as we like to do but anyway please leave what did he die what did he die of natural causes oh that's alright the other two will be dying then so please leave a like share subscribe all that jazz and when we come back as I say we're going to be able to make massive uh, big massive uh, safari open, open safari park like site B so stay tuned and hope you, hope you enjoyed the video um, give us a thumbs up the likes are always important and make me it encourages me to do more of these videos um, so yeah have a nice day and I'll see you next time <laughs>